Man, true news and reviews, man. We back with another one, man. We got Boosie and Kanye on trial. What's good? Well, Boosie Badass believes Kanye West has no love or respect for the black race. Uh, also, what was more shocking <laughs> to me was Maf Hoffa agrees with Kanye that slavery was a choice, which I mm. thought was crazy. Before we even get into that, though, because we go, we will be holding niggas accountable. Before we do that, go ahead, slap the like button. Yeah, go ahead. Hit, and hit subscribe, that like button. especially yeah. if you're watching the videos back to back. That just let the algorithm to know to suggest our videos to more people. Mm -hmm. Help us out. It's free. Yeah, yeah. Yo, so for real, for we real. both listened to this conversation. Um, yeah. Hip Hop DX has a good write up about it, and they uh, include a clip. I'd also recommend that everybody go to Math Hoffa's channel, watch the full conversation. But I listened, and I was, oh man, I got respect for Boosie. I got respect for Math Hoffa. Yes, me too. I mean, me too. I, 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 I don't, you know, Kanye's a different story, but. The thing about oh, he got no respect for Kanye. I ain't gonna say I got no respect, but <laughs> he's on a different category. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, so I, you agree with Boosie right now? Like you feel like Boosie? You feel like you know what I'm saying? He don't got I no agree with Boosie on some points, but I disagree with other points. But what what I will say is this: it's crazy that mm -hmm. with everything that Kanye has lost and everything, this is a weird hill for Mav Hoffa to die on. You know what I'm saying? Like defending Kanye yeah, going to yeah, slavery as a yeah, choice thing. We we yeah. saw Van Lathan and Kanye have that back and forth. Everybody is pretty much on the same page, I thought, with the whole slavery ain't a choice thing, right? No, no, no. Everybody's not on the same choice. Now, listen, let me be clear. I pretty much, you know, respect and like majority of the thing that Boosie say. But right here... It's tough for me to put that on a man to just, you know, with just from what he's saying. Because Boosie made a great point. He said in this clip, he said that he would have probably been Django. You get what I mean? Like, if he would have came up, he wouldn't have booked at all. He would have probably been a Django, right? So how do we look at Django? Do we feel like, you know, they kind of, they don't have no love or respect for the black race? Like, people that was caught up into that and they just... Now they like, you know, they kind of take on the control that the slave master gave. And now they kind of doing the discipline. Do we look at them as they don't have no respect for the black people as well? Or for the black race? Who? I'm I saying lost the Jangi. You remember when Boosie said in this, uh, he said he, he, he could have been a Django. He could have been like the Jamie Foxx guy that kind of like does the disciplinary to all of the slaves and like they're just playing their role and they kind of you know rub off as they don't like the black people you know what i mean but they're just trying to survive and what's the question do you look at them the same way that they don't have love for love black or people? respect for black people but they're putting in the laws of their I, boss no, that's a, I, that's I a don't tough really, question yeah it's a tough question to even understand like i don't I don't even understand what you're really asking me. <laughs> Django is a fictional character, correct? Yeah. And I don't think that he was... Was he beating up slaves in the movie? Or was he... Was he? I don't know. I think Samuel L. Jackson's character was more of the sidekick to the slave master, but yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that we need to really... No, I don't see them as the same category as Kanye. I think right. that's totally different as apples and oranges. The point I want to make is I want to keep it on Kanye. He right. says dumb shit, and people still are agreeing with him. I'm glad that Boosie is calling him out, saying that he doesn't like, uh, you know, Black calling people. Kanye out for what he is. He He's calling Kanye a racist, basically. Yeah, he spreads racist, uh, racist messages of, uh, you know, anti-Semitism, anti-Black sentiments. He's positioned himself with far right people like Nick Fuentes, mm -hmm. a Trump, you know, people who feel emboldened saying racist things like Candace Owens. And um, just speaking to the slavery as a choice thing, you got to be careful with that because that's part of what a lot of the right wing uh, 
people, you know, the right, the, the religious right wing or the Republican right wing, they do a lot of revisionist history. They want to erase real history and input what they want. Uh, you'll see like in, in, in 2015, Texas textbooks used in schools were telling slave, uh, telling kids that slaves were workers traveling of their own volition. Um, ben Carson once said that slaves, he referred to slaves as immigrants. You see how that's kind of changing the story. They want to try to sanitize the story and it's, it's not, it's not historically accurate and it's just wrong and it's dangerous. Uh, also, if, if people don't know, like if people like Math Hoffa and Kanye don't realize that slavery is a choice, I wonder what their right. positions on a certain act that rhymes with great is, right? If, if slavery was a choice, if their options was death or be slave, right? But they had a choice. I guess a woman always has a choice, right? Nah, that's yes, yeah, that's uh right, you know. Yeah, it's on the same footing. If if slaves had a choice, right, then a woman who gets taken advantage of in that way in an essay, I wonder how Math Hoffa would feel about that. There's still people in the world that are going through slavery now. Does Math Hoffa yeah. think that that's a choice? There's women that get uh that are are in arranged marriages, forced marriages, and the penalty for going against that is death. Does Math Hoffa feels like they have a choice? These are questions that I would want to pose to him. Yeah, I don't think he really yeah. understands. I think cho choice really means. I think he's being too literal with it. Choice means that you you have a a chance to choose freely. It's not right. under the pressure. Not of like, like I got this gun on you. you. Listen, yeah, I got yeah, this gun on not, you. Make a choice. That ain't the choice. Right, right, right. I agree. Crazy. I agree one hundred. I agree one hundred. Another thing that I thought was crazy. Right. Yeah. If you look at history, right, there's been other people who said crazy shit like this and they were kind of, they were look, they were frowned upon because it. There, there was a, a time where Bill Cosby said that racism is the result of black people doing stupid things. Right. You see how that's similar <laughs> to what Kanye's doing? Like that's just, if you say this slavery is, is a saying. choice, that's, yep. a way to, that's a way to blame slavery on black people. Exactly, but my point, right? My okay. point is not to defend Kanye, right? right? My point is to open people up to think that because of the conditions we were in, to think that they're not going to be people. I remember me and you had a talk about the running back who is on the Republican side, and he's saying all of this. Herschel what, Walker. Herschel Walker. What is, you know, there are people out here that are marketing for the other side. Yes, they're going to come off as they don't respect or like the black race i think because of the conditions because of how we're seeing it's like we're the bottom of the scum why wouldn't you want to be on that side the guys have money they got choice and i think a lot of people get uh like he said they get mentally trapped into that so it's like they choose the other side in my opinion you know i feel like we got people that's, in the community that's despicable to me yeah it you is know? it is you know it like is. like kanye is part of the problem to me you know, I think it's a bigger problem than Kanye. I no, think but that... we're talking about Kanye right now, right. so I don't want to engage in what about is, and we're having a conversation about the well, conversation. He's not the first that guy. Boosie... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hold you're on. Right. We're having a conversation about the conversation Boosie had with Mav Hoffa and the guys at the barbershop about Kanye. So mm -hmm. we don't have to go over the river through the woods to Grandma's house. This mm -hmm. is this is what we talking about. This is the mm -hmm. one situation where I could agree with Boosie. I don't think that. Uh, right. Kanye has the best interest of the black race. There were some things that Boosie said during this conversation that I didn't agree with. He uh, is still saying that he thinks God puts people in jail to teach them a lesson and to protect them from what would have happened to them on the streets. How you feel about that? No, I'm not kind of into that, you know, because I, I don't believe in karma, number one, because oh, no, I don't know. No, 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 he didn't say karma. Let's no, be no, clear. No. He said right, God right. is putting people in jail to protect them from their fate on the streets and to teach them a lesson. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't I don't believe that, you know, 
I don't believe that. That's some, you know, the karma thinking people. Like they feel that, you know, magical thinkers. Yeah, the magical thinkers where they feel like, you know, if you know you do this, something gonna happen. God protects you. I don't necessarily uh, think God is gonna put you in jail. I do think, you know, it is a high power that looks out for you. But that ain't what they do. They don't put you in jail and put you in captivity to teach you. Now you can learn things in jail. I got homies that went to the feds, and I do attest that they got smarter. They was hanging around a group of people, and I can understand that, but I don't see where you just going to say that. You're going to learn. You you know, you go to jail to learn, and you learn everything, and you be on point because of that. I don't agree with that. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, listen. Uh, let me say this. <laughs> I respect Map Hot Five. I respect Boosie, but that's why you got to watch these rappers because they will tell you some crazy stuff. And there's a lot of youth out there that's looking at these guys as like older brothers, as uncles. Let me be the positive male influence in your life to tell you that that is some bull crap. You know, so I'm trying to keep us monetized. I don't want to say what yeah, I like, yeah. but it, it's. If you think God is putting you in jail, you're in mental jail. <laughs> Thinking like that, that is a, a mental jail that you in. That's a brain trap <laughs> that you in. Get out of that. Set yourself free, brother. Right. It, it's, that. A, it's a big scheme going on. With oh, the jail it's, a system scheme. All that. it's a big I scheme. I cannot put it on God. Like, <laughs> That this has been going on for years, years. Like, no, listen, I, listen. Everybody who's been to jail done had an older nigga tell you some shit like that. Like, you know what, young blood, the Lord yeah. probably put you in here because you were getting into too much in the streets. If you was on the streets, who knows what could have happened to you? You kind of got a bullet, could have got stabbed. Yeah, you know, at a thing. You know, it's better you in here and you get your mind right. But listen, if you. If, listen, if I if I were somebody who subscribed into that belief, right? Right. <laughs> if I think that God is all powerful, all knowing, this is somebody that was able to raise people from the dead. He created the the universe. There's no better ways that he could have taught me <laughs> than to put me in jail or to save me for something. He can make the bullets turn into doves. You know what I'm saying? He could put compassion and kindness into the hearts of my enemies. He could, yeah. you know, turn water to wine. He could just cure diseases. Jesus was touching people's eyes and they could see again. But no, I got to go to jail for a sentence. How about people are going to, to jail because they commit crimes? That's too much. Like, Boosie don't never want to take accountability for that. He'll always say somebody snitched. Right. He'll listen. always say it's exactly. the Lord. Listen. I don't never hear him say, you know what? I was doing a lot of crimes and I ended up getting locked up. I don't hear that type of accountability from Boosie ever. Re, me, listen, I'm totally with you on this, man. I've been locked up and I ain't putting that on God. I know that, you know, we got like for right now, like, right. Yeah. I've been, uh, what, what, what was it? 11 pounds I got caught with right now. Yeah. That's not, you know, it's not the same sentence and the same crime anymore. We got, you know, marijuana is legal. I feel like I was duped by the justice system and the jail system. <laughs> I feel like you took a business from me and now it's legal and I got put in a position to get robbed. Yeah. So why would I put that on God? Like, I know that it's a, you know, the justice system has to make money. They just got to make money, you know, and this yeah. had to come from one of them. They, you know, I'm saying somebody who, you know, was making money with the justice system had to want to put something like that in the air. I think yeah. to not put it on them and to think, put, God wants you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get well, me? I, I <laughs> yeah. agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, just to read a little bit more from here, uh, Boosie Badass also took a passionate stance about what Kanye said about George Floyd. He said it was harmful and detrimental to black people as a whole. I agree. Uh, Kanye was parroting a lot of talking points from Candace Owens. Don't think that's, uh, you know, the lady to be following. Uh, they also bring up Boosie and his uh, trusting gay people with his money more than straight people. We spoke on that in the last episode. I don't think we need to rehash that. Uh, but yeah, that's not a, a logical way of thinking either. So. I don't know. I, I recommend everybody uh, to go look for that clip. It's titled Boosie Goes Off on Kanye. It's on Math Hoffa's page. Y'all chime in 
in the comments and let me know what y'all think i know that we have a lot of kanye supporters they like to get me straight and let mm -hmm. me know about the genius of kanye if you one of those tap in uh yeah. if you feel like god does put people in jail to protect them let us know about that we seem to be on the same footing on that me and bob uh y'all yeah. y'all tap in in the comments let, let yeah. us know how you feel for real man we're gonna catch y'all on the next one